hey guys, if you want to learn how to do an edit like this for Tumblr and stuff like that, stick around because I'm going to be showing you how to do it. Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to colorize photos for Tumblr. And I don't know where else would you post them, well, you would post them, but whatever. Um, so first off, you want to just open your photo, which I already did, and then you want to copy the background. Um, the base layer, background layer, whatever. With that, you can do Control J or Command J for Mac users, or you can right click and click dupl Duplicate Layer, and then you want to set it to Multiply and 35%. Um, oh, I might have to back to this. Or okay, 35%. And then you want to duplicate it again. Oh, why did it do that? I set it to Soft Light. Is this the right one? Yeah, soft light at 48%. And then you want oops, you want to add a um, new layer. Well, go to layer, adjustment layer, brightness and contrast layer. And you want the brightness at plus 40. Why does it always do that? Plus 40. And the contrast at plus... 20. Fuck it. There, I think that's. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Then we're going to go to layer, new fill layer, and you're going to add a solid color. And the color is going to be 2F, CF, BE. I want to set it to. What are you doing? Sorry, some of this stuff. Set it to multiply. And you want to set it to 50%, the opacity. And then, I'm going to add. Right? Yeah. And gradient. Um, uh, sorry. Um, fill a new fill layer. And gradient. And you wanna select the black and white one. Oh, I kind of like the orange one, but do that later. Black and white one. And then you wanna set it to um, soft light. Thirty percent. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, I keep losing my train of thought. And then you want to add a new layer. Wait, where is it again? Um, a vibrance layer. Okay, shush, I'm doing something. Well, that's all. Yeah, whatever. Um, you want vibrance at plus 62. And of a saturation at plus fifteen. And then you want to go to layer, add photo filter layer, and you want to change the color to. One B three five E A and the density at twenty five percent and set it to normal. Oh, what is that normal? Eighty nine percent. And then you want to add go to layer, new adjustment layer, selective color. And you want the red, you want plus n or minus nine, plus nine, oops. Um, magenta, minus 15, yellow, zero, black, plus 11. And then go to neutrals, do 
zero plus thirty three minus seventeen and black zero. And then you go to blacks. Everything will be zero except for black, which will be plus thirty five. And then can you hold on one second, dog? And then you go to um layer, new adjustment layer. I think yeah. Hue saturate add a hue and saturation saturation layer. And you want to change the saturation to plus ten. It doesn't really do anything, but whatever. And then I usually drag this one down here. But you can leave it up there if you like it. And then usually I add my um, Tumblr stamp, which I don't have it because I made it for my other blog, um, Demi Lovato blog, but this one's for Selena Gomez. Um, but all you do is, I have silk screen, where is it? Silk screen expanded text, and just go do my Tumblr name. And then I do that little flat line that's above the enter bar and then put Tumblr. And then I'll change it to, well, it's that white, but it's just because it's below the layers, but I'll change that in a second. Then I think I'll make it 11. And then I just put it there, and I'll just drag it up to the top. If it'll go up, it's not going up. Oh, because that's the top layer. And then I usually change the opacity so it's really light. Like that. And all you gotta do is go File, Save As. And then you'll save it as um, the name you want. And that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching. And I forgot to add that um, when you're finished, you right click on um, anything and just click flatten image. And there you go.